Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video, we're looking at Genesect Dual Blade Toolbox for the boss rotation. It is very unique deck list that I decided to build, test it out, and see how it will work. It is actually good, but. Um, it actually lacks some cards like Switch, Guzma, it really hurts this deck. Um, later, while I was testing this deck, I found out that um, running two copies of Cynthia, for example, and um, two copies of uh, Tate and Liza actually um, much more improved the um, quality of this deck because with uh, Tate and Liza, you can actually have that Switch option also available, which is sometimes very uh, good because if you're stuck in front with the Mars Shadow or with the Genesect without two skateboards, you don't have too many options and just stuck in the front and you know stuck and don't be able to move. Um, yeah, I mean, the idea of the deck is just to bump up the tool cards to your Pokemon's in play and hit with the tool drop for 30 times to each tool card you have uh, attached on all of your Pokemon's in play. You're not going to attack with the Genesec GX, even you could, but I decided not to do it. I decided rather to go with the Mars Shadow because that Acme of Heroism GX is pretty dope and theoretically with um, two energies and counter gain you can swing pretty heavily. And I really like it, especially versus lighting decks. Overall, I mean, not the top competitive deck, but definitely something unique that you can test out. So, running on the, moving on from the Pokemon to the trainer cards, uh, and then we're gonna end with uh, actually energy cards. I'm running one Marsh out of my Champ GX, as well as one Nadine, with four copies of Genesect and four Han Edge and four Dew Blades, ending that with um, two Stellar Wish Jirachis and one Marsh out of. From the item cards, I'm running four copies of each because for the max possible consistency, uh, four custom catchers, four judge whistles, four communications, and then one copy of switch with four of each counter gain, a skateboard, and <coughs> metal frying pan. So those are the um, tool cards that I'm going to play. For the draw support, I decided to go, I was first running four Cynthia's and um, I decided to cut down to two and then add two Tate and Liza's as well as two copies of Judge and four copies of Jasmine. Lily is just unnecessary in this deck in my opinion because it's better for you to be able to shuffle your hand back and then draw fresh hand of six instead of just having four cards and then stuck with the Lily. Makes no sense because there's no top of the level trouble for Lily turn one. And also four triple acceleration as well as four, uh, four copies of triple acceleration and four copies of uh, fighting energies. So there's a <coughs> Sorry for that. There's many um, options uh, where you can play Welder, for example, with Fire Energies. Then you can even take, for example, um, one Reshizard and maybe even one um, Mars Shadow and Machamp, but uh, then you should consider not to play Triple Accelerations. I prefer it much more with the Triple Accelerations and with the Fighting Energies because this Mars Shadow and Machamp can really be good especially for that GX attack. There is a plenty of other tool, uh, good uh, Pokemon cards like Cabalion GX, for example, which can buy you one turn for the setup. It has pretty strong GX as well as that Lucarian Melmetal where you can use Full Metal Wall GX as well. So those options are also possibly um, good for this deck list. Anyways, moving on to the deck test so you can see this deck in action. So see you in the game. All right, I'm gonna do my best trying to win this game. This is, this is really, um, really unique deck list, and uh, it requires a lot of luck in order to, you know, properly set up, win the game. Quite obviously, um, the cards in my opening hand are not that bad. There is a skateboard, but I'm gonna need one extra in order to retreat my Genesect. I'm running one copy of Switch, so theoretically I can also switch. But it's not gonna be super easy. Alright, so there's the Pokemon Communication as a top deck, meaning that I can trade my Dew Blade into some sort of magic-like Jirachi, let's say. Skateboard... Judge Whistle to be used for the Jasmine. Since I'm going second, I can theoretically use it, but 
and I would rather prefer to go with a Cynthia. You've got to be kidding me. What a messy hand that is. Stellar Wish. I can't even think what to take here. Like, seriously. The cards are so bad that I just... I decide to go with a Judge Whistle. <sighs> just a counter gain. Well, that's it. I'm done. Alright, I can't attack with my Genesect. The only option to attack here is with the Marshadow and Machamp. I rather decided not to go with the Genesect as the attacking Pokemon. Yeah, there's already double course energy. He can always use that full metal wall GX. And for now, I don't even have Dew Blade in play. Yeah, it is how it is. At least we have Judge for the following turn. So I'm not going to complain too much. At least I can Judge. So that's something, right? It is. Nazball for another um, Cutie Fly. And we're probably going to see Still Feast. Maybe even Full Metal Wall GX. He decided to go with Full Metal Wall instead. 30 damage and less. What a nice top deck. Why I'm keep drawing such a dead cards? Like, seriously, what is going on here? Pff, you gotta be kidding me. Why I'm keep drawing such a bad cards? It just makes no sense. Like, seriously, zero sense. I'm so pissed right now that I just hate this game. I mean, I can't draw a Pokemon, I am just keep drawing Jasmines, and I don't need them. Like, why, why would I even need Jasmine at this moment of the game? I don't need it. I need just any type of a skateboard, even Switch could work. Even Machamp would work. Literally, with energy attachment, but, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it would work. If I could get it, of course. <coughs> Never mind. We're gonna stay focused there, and I took 50 damage, which means that he can heal the damage from the active Pokemon. Okay, this is so unfair. I'm not gonna complain, but um, it is unfair. Yeah, why not to keep drawing dead cards? Okay, finally something that I can really use. Judge Whistle. Communication. Well, I'm not gonna use it for now. Stellar Wish into the Judge. Um, yeah, screw that. I'm, I'm gonna go with a counter gain rather than that. Um, fry pan and that's it. Yeah, I can revenge, but then he can simply heavy impact me and then drop three price cards and I really don't want to I really don't want to do that I should rather I should rather cap that judge whistle for um, following turn why I'm such a greedy guy I don't know honestly I don't know why I do that um, that was a very bad play to be honest <sighs> another energy is a top deck okay still a wish skateboard right now yeah right now i don't need you that's for sure one turn too late i should say that um counter gain at least i can draw a card which is another counter catcher another draw and another communication wow that is simply amazes me okay at least i can 100 blows impact my opponent next turn for like 100 and 50 right for literally zero damage because he can heal up anyways and um he reduces the damage for 60 and then he can heal like 20 and that's like 80 and if i swing him for like 160 he can heal 80 damage and that's like 180 hp and then next turn i can swing for 200 
knock him out even if he heals one more time with another um, with Bumpy I can technically knock him out so I'm gonna definitely go all in here um, just the Jasmine which means that I can actually trade my Genesect into my the Dingy X and I can grab some fresh cards into my hand yeah it needs to be a retreat and it needs to be a hundred blows impact for a hundred so actually I miscalculated myself oh no I didn't right now he's gonna heal so he will have 80 damage I'm not quite sure if he plays any other cards, not just heavy, but okay, so it, it, it turns out to be a good thing. I need one extra energy right now. Will I be able to find one extra energy? I have no clue about it. But I know only one thing. I'm gonna switch so I can retreat. Obviously burn one card from my hand. Go with a Cynthia. There is a new blade and two more fry pans. And an extra energy. And right now I can definitely use that GX into my favor. And I didn't knock him out because I swing him for 140 damage. But the good thing is that if my opponent try to knock me out because I have one extra energy, I will still have 10 HP left. He heals some damage off. And there's Mr. Rangru. Other than that, heavy impact. I have one extra energy, so I'm not knock it out. And there is a glitch, of course. Jasmine for another dew blade, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna 100 blows impact my opponent for three price cards, and I and I barely managed to knock him out, which is just insane. But I can drop three price cards, and there's a triple acceleration energy just in case if he managed to knock me out. I'm gonna have respawn back. He only need to deal 10 damage, which is mind blowing because even Cutie Fly can knock me out and drop three price cards. Hey, hey, it is how it is. <coughs> Most likely, I'm gonna lose, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna lose. Who, who knows? We shall see. Um, there's still tiny possibility that I can win this game. All right, so he's moving down to only one price card right now at this moment. And I have triple acceleration energy for the knockout, and then after that I'm gonna need another one. <laughs> or at least counter catcher play. Okay, 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 that's good. That's good. Gonna try to move some cards from my hand into my deck. Literally just a trade-off. Nah, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna grab myself more shadow, but it doesn't matter too much anyways. I have triple acceleration, so I'm pretty lucky to have it. Um, tool drop for the knockout, and that's 420 because of the weakness. So 210 in total. And another hot edge. You can't believe that I'm just driving another one. Alright, um, he don't have for a treat. But he decided to attach energy to Orangru. And I'm very close to win this game, but still I can lose the game. I have only two more energy cards left. And remember, um, the only energy that will work for me will be Triple Acceleration Energy because I'm not going to be able to use next turn my um, Fighting Energy. Actually, turn after that, I'm not going to be able to use my Fighting Energy and Counter Gain. But Brooks Grit, for example, can work, but I don't have it. 
I tech switch instead of the Brox grid. If I pass my turn right now, I can increase the chance to draw maybe counter gain and fighting energy. But the big problem is that I don't know which cards I have left. So I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk because I don't have nothing to lose. I know that my opponent has plenty of cards in his hand and there's a double core energy, but still the Psychic only do 60 plus 20 more for each energy attached to my active Pokemon. And if I can eliminate this Rangro from play, then I can potentially win the game. And there's a Guzma for the Dewblade. Uh, he do me a favor actually there, right now he's probably gonna lose the game. Psych for 60, I have triple available in my hand, and even better, there's a frying pan, so I can reduce the damage down to me as well. And I'm hitting heavy here for 240. And there's a one custom catcher. Alright, so only one more triple acceleration energy is sitting in my deck, basically for the win. And there is another Lucario and Melmetal for my opponent. And he has Switch. Will he have double Gore's energy? Even if he can find double Gore's energy, he can't win the game. Which is pretty sad. Yep. Also, my opponent is very limited with the resources there. He only have like, one energy card left. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He managed to find double Gore's energy. That's the GG. So he's hitting for 20. And next turn I'm knocked out. Judge Whistle. Put a Judge obviously into your hand. Let's let's try to get pair of custom catchers and triple acceleration energy for the win. YOLO. Let's do it. How many Judge Whistles I have left? None of them. Yeah, it was close, but not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred. That would be two hundred and seventy, but still not enough for the knockout because he used full metal wall GX. And that's how this game actually ends up. And to my opponent favor, it was a very close game. Very, very close game. No doubt about it. I have such a bad and devastating start at the end, I couldn't recover from it. So unfortunately, that's the GG. Alright, I'm starting first, and again, switch deck for a battle Pokemon really to put in your hand, but if you go second, and it's your turn one, then you can search your deck for five metal Pokemon. So lucky for me, I'm starting first at my turn one, so I can only search my deck for one. I guess one is always better than none, that's for sure. Oh, I can draw three extra cards. Nothing good there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One Han Edge for sure. One Judge Whistle. There is a Cynthia. What I can get with a Stellar Wish? Skateboard is a very, such a nice card here. I kind of like it. Um, Judge Whistle, why not? Just another Cynthia. Okay, at least I thin my deck a little bit. Refresh my hand. There is a Han Natch. What if we can find another Jirachi here? Alright, wait a second. I'm gonna rather go with the Ding here. I don't need Jasmine's, neither Custom Catcher or Judge. I can actually benefit if I have Judge in my disco pile. For the Judge Whistle, of course. Alright, that looks much better. If I put this bad boy down, I'm gonna be struggled by the weakness. I can't do that. The only thing that I can do right now is just to pass my turn. Alright. 
Sever Poison. Yeah, that Mach is such a fat card. And there's already double core energy, which means that your opponent's active Pokemon is now prized in poison if the Pokemon has at least four extra energy. Okay. Maybe he decided to go with a nasty nasty GX, but um It's not actually effective versus Jirachi as long as he has a skateboard, you can still retreat, so that's pretty good. I can start applying some pressure, <coughs> but I don't think it's worth to hit for 40 only. So maybe I decide to go with Jasmine just for another um, Honage, or maybe I even decide to grab myself a Dew Blade. Not sure if the Dew Blade is a good option here. Oh, a pair of custom catchers. Hmm, that actually changed things a little bit. Counter gain and communication. Okay, I can draw a price card and I'm gonna definitely do that. Yeah, no doubt about that. Um, it's good to grab a price card in the game. If you can. That's for sure. I mean, technically, I could even swing Jirachi, but I think that Inke is much more important. <coughs> because still he can just evolve into Melamar and then have that advantage with Giratina and with the Muck. And I don't want to let him do that. Um, I'm trying to basically um, let him to knock my Dew Blade if he can. So I can potentially swing back with Revenge, maybe even with that um, Acme of Heroism, but um, it's not going to happen because I can't attach two energies at the same time. And the problem is that um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, you can heal 100 damage from Muck. So I'm pretty much going to need 270 damage in order to one hit knock him out. <laughs> and trust me, that's just not easy to do. Will this be 0 for 2 or will this be 1 for 1? I don't know, I have no clue about that. The only thing that I know that the poison absorption will definitely knock me out. And I wish I had one copy of... If I only have... Oh, there's a Goose Mountain, so this is gonna probably be a Naga versus Marshadow. Um, he passes the third. All right. Okay then. Okay then. Um, yeah, I can ba I can basically just pass the turn back. And yeah, he have Guzma, so I'm gonna lose three prize cards. Dang, that's just pretty bad. Ah, okay. Whenever either player switch their poison active Pokemon to one of their banished Pokemon, with the effect of a trainer card, the new active Pokemon is now affected by the special condition. Um, it says switch, it does not say retreat. So it's just like you play switch card. Okay, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I have no clue about that, but um, I wish I have a switch in my hand, but I don't. I don't have a switch, so I'm just gonna pass my turn and I'm gonna be knocked out. And other than that, I'm gonna promote my Han Edge in the front. He's taking three prize cards. That was a very nice play, that's not questionable, but I wish I could find the switch, so I could switch back, for example down to my Jirachi, potentially finding myself, let's say, Cynthia for the fresh hand of 6, 
and then maybe triple acceleration with a couple more tool cards yeah but still he would just poison absorb anyways for like 120 so it doesn't matter too much with three malamars in play we can call that as a gg and also with only three remaining price cards I can try to do my best, I can try to swing back, I can try to potentially turn the game into my favor, it's still possible, it's still winnable, as long as I can find myself a card, for example, a Cynthia with Jirachi. Even better would be just to get Cynthia as a top deck. And then I would need like another Genesect, Triple Acceleration, a couple more tool cards and stuff like that, um, but yeah, he's playing smart. He's definitely playing smart, he really wants to have backup attacking option, he maybe even have Guzma in his hand. I didn't even pay attention if he played support a card this turn, I think he did. Nope, he didn't. Okay, that, that, that was a very interesting play. Really, that was a very interesting play. There's literally, again, no options available for me anyways, so um, I can only pass the turn. I can only pass the turn, and he can still try to find another Guzma for the knockout versus that the Din potentially. Still, the only damage he can do will be 120, or he can Seven Poison me, for example, which is even stronger um, energy attached to Jirachi but you can't retreat under the special condition I still I have like a turn more left to find myself something <coughs> potentially to find another dual blade triple acceleration energy that would be awesome oh right now he even have a skateboard Okay, so he will do me the favor definitely there with the knockout. And there's another Psychic Recharge. And who's gonna get the energy? Probably Melomar. Yeah, just in case if you have to retreat. Okay, that's the knockout. Sever Poison. I can't complain with the judge, but I need something better. For example, Cynthia, for instance. One, two, impossible, literally impossible. Literally, it is impossible. So I'm hitting for like 120, right? Yeah, I'm hitting for like 120. If I was only able to knock my opponent out this turn, I would probably win the game without. Yeah, I would probably win the game, but um, even 150 is a decent damage. But the only thing that he really needs to do here is just to retreat. Oh, Sever Poison, actually, instead. <laughs> if I only have Switch, which I don't. If there's only Switch, I could win the game. I can still use tool drop for the knockout and that's exactly what I'm gonna do and the Pokemon that's gonna be promoted in the front will be the Dean and who knows I might still win the game again I was short for the switch Okay, right now I'm knocked out. And what if I promote my Genesect in the front? A bit risky. 
because I don't have option to pay retreat other than finding myself a switch, which is really unlikely that's gonna happen. And again, with the Dean, I can retreat for only one energy, and then he can just hit for like 120. Your opponent's active Pokemon is poison, he can use Severed Poison, and what else he can do? I'm just trying to find outcome. The only thing that he can swing him a game here is a Guzma, and he couldn't find one. Maybe at the end I win the game. He, he's probably just gonna pass the turn here again. Knowing that I can't catch him on the bench because I played three custom catchers. My best bet is just to stay active with the Dean. But sooner or later my opponent will find himself a Guzma for the win anyway, so that's just super unlikely for me as well. Oh no, he decided rather to go in action. Alright, that works for me. Okay, another Genesect top deck. Okay, is it possible still to win this game? There's like Switch, Judge Whistle, and enough tool cards. This bad boy have counter gain anyways if I only knew that I'm gonna draw what I need yeah judge is my only available option here one two three four I have like four tool cards. That's like 120. I mean, if the top deck was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me there. We're still in the game. 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 180, 210. Nah, even with 210, I can't do too much. But still, it was a, it was a funny game. Oh, look at this. I managed even to find a fry pan and a counter game as well. Okay, um, I still, oh, I attached energy, okay, then that's the GG. I attached energy, I didn't pay attention. If I didn't attach energy to my deal blade with that um, fighting energy, I would probably just retreat to Genesect. Absorb some damage and basically um, retreat in hope to find myself another tool card for the win. So I was short for one tool card at the end. I was short for the one tool card at the end and I'm not quite sure why he didn't just swing for like 120 and knock me out for the last prize card in the game. Um, that's questionable. And right now he pays the retreat cost, which means that he can't switch without Switch or Guzman. But he managed to find himself a Guzman, and then he can swing for the Din for the last one prize card. And that is gonna be the game, so lucky my opponent that I couldn't find myself an extra tool card. So yeah, Guzman, the Din, and another sever poison or poison absorption it doesn't really matter too much both are gonna be effective for the knockout versus that the day all right congratulations to my opponent it was a very sweet game i'm not gonna say anything about that very competitive and i hope you guys enjoy watching this video while you're watching my opponent deck list make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos let me know in the comments what you think about the deck idea have a nice day as always we'll see you next time